In this video clip, I'm going to look at the didactics of modes on the scale degrees of your majors as well as minors. Now, first of all, you're going to give your learners a historical overview of modes. So today we all know majors and minors, and of course that belongs to our tonal system. And before the tonal system existed, we had the modal system consisting of modes. So we had modes for approximately 11 centuries up to the middle of the Baroque. And between the Renaissance and the Baroque, there was a transition. And by the second half of the Baroque period, uh, the, the new structure, the tonal system was uh, formally and properly in place and um, used in compositions. So let's first look at the difference between our modes and our majors and minors. So you have to tell your learners that all our majors basically sound the same. Yes, they start on different pitches, but they sound the same. Likewise with your minors. Now, when it gets to modes, every single mode has got a different sound. It's really more like comparing majors and minors with one another. Now, I'm going to look at how to teach modes on the scale degrees of a major. Now, the first thing that you need to, uh, to make them aware of is that you have a specific mode that occurs on a specific scale degree. Now, on the board, you'll see I wrote C major, and then I also indicated the various modes. So whenever you go from the tonic to the tonic, in whatever scale, it's known as the Arthurian mode. Whenever you go from the second scale degree to the second scale degree, it's known as the Sorian mode. So it's really as good as to say you, you're starting on the supertonic of C major and you run to the next supertonic. Okay, so that is how your modes work. So you start on a specific scale degree. Uh, let's take the Lydian. The Lydian mode always starts on the fourth scale degree and then it goes to the next uh, fourth scale degree. In other words, uh, uh, the next F, an octave higher. And of course, we are using C major key to do that. Okay, so it's C major, but now we start uh, on different scale degrees. And depending on what scale degree it is, it's going to be a different mode. <clears throat> Good. Now, I'm going to just quickly do a, an example with you. So say, for example, the question states the ascending mixolydian mode on E with key signature in the treble clef. Okay, so the mixolydian mode we always find on the fifth scale degree of our major scale. Okay, so if uh, so, it's a mixolydian on E. So um, in A major, the E is our fifth scale degree. So we are going to write out, we're going to start on, uh, on the E, we're going to write it ascending. And now, because it starts on the fifth scale degree of A major, we are going to use A major's key signature. So it's really very simple. And in terms of your semitones, you can uh, just think of where they occur in your major scale or the, the learners can literally just work out where the semitones are and just indicate them. Now, the second one is the modes that you find on the scale degrees of a minor. Now, normally this is a bit more confusing, so I'm going to show you the method that I use to explain it to learners. Now, um, the first thing that they need to understand is uh, your, your uh, modes that you get on the scale degrees of a major and of a minor are exactly the same. They, yes, they have the same scale degrees. So just to show that to you, I'm going to quickly share my screen with you. Okay, so you can see <clears throat> that the scale that I've got on the board 
uh, C major that I just explained. You can see my, uh, my first uh, mode is my Ionian mode on C, and then it goes up to the, the upper tonic, which is the Ionian mode again there. Okay, so now if we look at the, the scale, uh, sorry, the, the modes on the scale degrees of a minor, they have the same name. So yes, I'm going to be working with A minor. So in A minor, the tonic is A. In C major, the tonic is C. But in modes, this doesn't matter because the Ionian mode will be still from C to C. The Dorian will still be from D to D. The Phrygian will still be from E to E, etc. Now you'll see that when it gets to the minor modes, there's always a sharp something, sharp seven, sharp six. So with your Aeolian mode, it will always be sharp seven, Locrian sharp six, Ionian sharp five. So there's just a slight difference in the names and I will talk about this in more detail a bit later. <clears throat> Good. So the important thing um, at this point that they must realize is the, whether you in the major or in the minor, the Dorian will start on the same pitch, okay? Not scale degree, the same pitch. So what we'll do now is I'm going to explain, I'm going to give you an example um, and then I'm going to, to explain the different steps to writing that mode. Okay, so remember we're working now with, with modes on the scale degrees of our harmonic minor. And we will always know that we're working with that whenever there's a, a sharp something in the, the mode name. So here's an example. The ascending Phrygian sharp three on A with G signature. So I've written this on the board. So first of all, the Phrygian mode starts on the third scale degree of your major. So I know that my, my A, so all I need to do is I just need to, to count back. Okay, so it's going to be A, G, and F. Okay, so I am going to, to work with F major. Okay, just for, for the moment, um, you, you could also, you know, work it out straight, you know, in the minor, but I really think this is the easiest method. Um, the reason why I do it like this is because then I can also determine the key signature. Okay, so Phrygian mode always starts on the third scale degree of a major, and because they ask for the Phrygian on A, the, the, the tonic of the major is going to be F. From that, we also know the relative minor is D minor. And from that, we also know that the raised leading tone is going to be C sharp. Now, look at this example on the board. So I wrote this out. So the Phrygian sharp three on A with D signature. Okay, so I started on A. And because I know the Phrygian starts on the third scale degree of my, ma my major, which is F major, I also know the relative minor is D minor, and I know the key signature for both F major and D minor is B flat. Okay, so it's with key signature, so I've got my B flat there. Then I need to raise my leading tone. <clears throat> so remember, we have the, the, main, sorry, the harmonic minor scale as foundation, and now we just write the various modes on the scale degrees of the minor. Okay, so now I'm going to find my leading tone in D minor, and the, it is a C, and because I'm working with my harmonic minor, I'm going to raise my uh, leading tone with the semitone. So now all of a sudden, you'll see that the name Phrygian sharp three makes sense, okay? So with your other modes, whatever sharp it is, that's where you're going to find uh, the, the leading tone on that specific scale degree. 
And of course, that's also a great way to test that you work out everything correctly. And then the last step is simply to add your semitones. So just look at the semitones in your minor, and then you just uh, um, convert them and uh, pull them into your, um, your, your mode. Okay, so, or you can just <clears throat> look at the mode and see where you find semitones. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. From A to B flat, that's a semitone. From C sharp to D, that's a semitone. From E to F, that's a semitone. I think this is the easiest. Okay, and um, that basically then concludes the writing of modes on the scale degrees of majors and minors.